smell. Look at that mouth. Look at that. Y'all ain't messing with me. Y'all are not messing with me. Between the spray and this lace, girl. Mm. If only you could see me now. If only you could tell me why. What is good? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Carrie. If you're new here, please make sure you hit that red subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you don't miss anything when I upload. I do beauty, hair, makeup, fashion, home decor, lifestyle, a little bit of everything. If you ain't new, welcome back, boo. Let's go ahead and get it popping. So I have three products that I want to show to you guys today, and they're all from Isha. If you're not familiar with Isha, it's basically Janet Collection's sister brand, and it's the line of products. So Janet Collection is the hair, and then Isha is hair products and stuff like that, okay? So we have three new products and it's catered to wigs and lace fronts. Basically helping you melt that lace. They're not actual hair glue products. So if you're someone who's not into the glue or you don't want something on for too, too long, you want something easier to take off, this should be it. They said that it's supposed to give you a glue-like melt, but it's not gonna be damaging and it's not going to pull at your edges and none of that good stuff, okay? We're gonna go ahead and jump right into the products one by one. I'm gonna let you know my overall thoughts at the end. So let's go ahead and jump right in. All right, y'all. So this is the first product that I'm going to be applying. And this is a primer, you guys. So basically it says it's a collagen and vitamin D infused guard and grip primer, improves adhesion, protects hairline, grows edges, vanilla scented, uh, designed for all skin types, hot and humid weather, sweating and sensitive skin friendly. So basically the directions tell you to clean off the area with some alcohol and to apply a thick layer on it and let it dry until it is not sticky into the touch. Oh. It says it's vanilla scented, but oh no, child, this ain't. It don't smell like no vanilla. It smell like straight pure chemical. It's very watery. It's like a thin water, so I don't know if they want it to be like a thick coat. If you would just keep doing it and allowing it to dry, you know what I'm saying? Like doing more than one um layer of this stuff. All right, y'all, so I went ahead and applied it and it is dry. Um, It doesn't really, it doesn't feel like anything at all. And also smelling the back of my hand, I guess it has to dry in order for the vanilla tint to pop through because now I am smelling the vanilla a little bit. It's applied, it doesn't look like anything is there. I can still feel my hairs and stuff. So, I mean, it says it protects, it says it does and whatever, okay? I don't, I don't, I can't really tell. Like, it's really, really thin. It's just like a watery consistency, you see? So this is going to be what I'm going to use to melt the lace. Now this is the Daily Glueless Lace Spray, Lace Wig Bond, and uh, this is what it looks like. Super freaking cute. Let me let that focus for y'all. It says that it's fast drying, 24 hour hold and the safest on skin. Now this is um, basically like a free spray, you guys. So you can use it to um, melt down your lace but you can also use it to style like a hairspray because I did read the back and all of that good stuff. If installed correctly, the lace will be tacked down to your skin. This actually smells kind of good. It does have a mild chemical smell to it, but it also has like a perfumey fra fragrance to it as well. We're going to see what we're working with. So let me go ahead and start to try to get my melts on. All right, y'all, so really quick, I am finished applying the daily lace spray, glueless lace spray. <laughs> and I just wanted to kind of give you a close up really quick. So this is what it looks like up against my skin. And this is just with the one pump of spray that you guys saw me doing, the one layer, I should say. And it looks really good is no white residue we do have like a minimal amount of residue just up in here but it's not terribly white and it can easily come out because i was having it throughout the whole process i mean it's sticky but it's very very minimal compared to some of the sprays 
that you know you get that white build up and it's very hard to get out so it looks really good it's nice and clear and it's definitely melting this lace and i ain't gonna lie the lace is really good too y'all this lace looks good too so make sure y'all check out the wig review to this unit if you want to check that out so we are having some adhesion here it is sticking to my forehead but um i just wanted to give y'all that close-up to show y'all like the spray is good it is it, doing something for me it's doing something for me okay all right y'all so the next product is their mousse okay so this is what the bottle looks like they're all cohesive they're going with each other the isha luxury wig fashion absolute daily edulation mousse foam edge tamer foaming mousse tames frizz defines curls for all hair types okay now in the back it basically says that the mousse was formulated to keep your edges laid and your lace front secure it's best paired with the isha daily glueless lace spray to maximize your hold it defines curls tame frizz um and styles your edges while melting your lace this product leaves no white residue or flaky buildup. so basically you can use this to melt your lace that's what it seemed like you can use this for that as well and also you can use it to use it as like a normal mousse or spinal aid something like that now i think that's really dope because sometimes i know a lot of people like to style their edges or baby hair with mousse but for me sometimes i say if i want that maximum hole it's not going to work so i usually go on with the gel after i use the mousse to kind of keep it put so if this is really something that you can lay your lace down with too then i'm just going to assume that it should be strong enough to hold them edges you know what i'm saying and i like also that it's not going to be well i'm assuming that it's not going to be something like a mousse that you put on the lace after you don't use like some kind of spray and it will lift it back up because it's like moist or wet so we're going to put it to the test and we're going to see. So it pumps up like that. This smells really good. This smells like perfume. I might be broken down, but I'm smiling. I keep my head up high, though I fail. Sometimes I get a bit of more. All right, y'all. So as you can see, we got the baby hair down. Now, let me let you know what I think about the mousse really quick. So... I think it's a really bomb mousse. I think it's gonna go well with melting the lace and all that stuff. They do go well together. And I say that because, look at this, the baby hair is not moving, y'all. It's not moving. Now, because I didn't use it to actually um, lay down the mace, I said mace, the lace, I'm not sure if it's going to actually melt the lace, but it may because I don't want to underestimate it. Just on this alone, that baby hair is not going anywhere. At first, I was like, okay, it's just a regular mousse. It's not, it's, it's you know, it's moist, it's drying up, it's not going to do anything. The hair is not going to stick. But this stuff, it's actually sticking like it's actually adhering to my skin so i am feeling it and i do see why they say it goes well with the lace spray because both of them are like adhesives you know but it's not glue y'all these these are not glue products and i think that's the good part so you don't have to worry about hurting your edges and all of that good stuff so so far so good don't have any complaints with it i don't see a white residue or anything like that so i'm just gonna finish styling this up and then i'm gonna let y'all know my final thoughts all together once I get some makeup on I'm looking all cute and stuff okay first of all I'm just gonna say I'm pleased with the products okay I'm absolutely pleased I love how the unit came out the first unit that we used which was the primer I don't really know about the primer I can't really say if I like it or not because it was a really thin like liquid and I can't really tell if it's guarding or protecting or not like I, I really won't be able to tell there's no way for me to tell like how would I know unless I just don't know. <laughs> I just know that it felt like a thin layer and once it dried, it just felt like nothing was there at all. It could indeed be protecting me all the way on my little bit of edges that I do have, but honestly, I don't know. So these two products here, right? So first of all, I am in love with both of them. Now I'm gonna jump off with the lace glue, okay? So first of all, the lace glue, I feel like did its thing. And I already showed y'all during the install process like look how good and clean that looks first of all this lace is melted okay melted though the mousse mentioned that it doesn't leave any white sticky residue anything like that i noticed that this didn't either and i know you guys know i brought it up and i mentioned it really quick because some of the free sprays that we use to melt our lace sometimes it can leave a lot of white residue where we have to sit there and comb it out and stuff like that so we're not looking a little messy now it did leave just a little bit of a residue it wasn't white it was more so like clear sticky you know what i mean um so i'm definitely definitely feeling this i do love that it melted me 
all the way down. I don't want to be tugging on my hair and messing it up. I also use some in the hair to kind of hold this hair back a little bit too. So it was a really great whole spray, spray as well. But overall, this thing did its thing. I absolutely love it. And I love the way it smells. It smells like perfume or something like that. And I was like, I could get with that. So, you know, you go like this, you feel the breeze and your hair swing back, you smell it. It smells really good. On to the mousse. I love this stuff. I'm not sure if I like this more or if I like the, the lace spray more. This stuff is the bomb. Look how, let me zoom in on this baby here right here, okay? This thing is stiff. This is not going anywhere. Like. It's crazy because we know and we're used to using normal mousse where you could do the baby hair and it doesn't hold it. It gives you a nice wispy look, but it doesn't hold it. And you may have to put something else on top of it to make sure the baby hair doesn't budge or go anywhere. This thing did the job, okay? At first, like I said, I didn't think it was gonna do much um, because it was like looking like regular mousse. It was feeling like regular mousse, but once it started drying up, it got a little bit sticky and then the stickiness went away and it's completely dry and your hair is melted. So I do think that they do pair very well together because you get to lay that lace and then you get to use this right on top and give you some extra security without actually worrying about lifting it. You know what I mean? So. They work very, very good together. And this one smells like perfume as well. They both smell really, really good, y'all. I love the smell of it. Um, and like I said from the beginning, the primer says it's a vanilla scent. You don't smell it much at first. It smells like chemical at first, but once it starts drying, you can smell a little bit of the sweetness, but not too much. But overall, I love the mousse and the lace spray. Like, them two are the bomb.com. I'm not really sure if they have bigger bottles uh, because this is a 2.7 ounce. Uh, so is this, and I think the primer is a one and some change fluent ounces. So if they got some bigger ones, I would definitely purchase. These are some really good products, y'all. And it was like super easy to work with. I'm not mad at all, not at all, not one little bit. Overall, I must say I am really impressed with the products. I wasn't really expecting it to be the way it was. You know, I was like, I don't know. We see, we, uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? But it came out, yo, it works really, really good. And I love the clearness on the lace spray. And I love that the mousse is going to hold that hair. Like they just work so good together and alone by themselves equally. So I love them. I'm not mad at all. Isha did their thing with these two products. So y'all, if you're trying to melt that lace, you're trying to make it easy, you don't want it looking crunchy, white, nasty, Sticky, you want the baby hairs to lay, pick these products up because y'all are going to like it. Like, I'm seriously not joking. Y'all will love these products. Like, I'm happy that I have it now. Um, So that's it for that. If you're interested in the hair, this is a unit from Janet Collection that I use to get my style on and test out these products. That is a separate video on its own, y'all, because I don't want to make the video too long. So make sure you hit up the description box for that information. It is a human hair unit. Let me put you on right now, girl, okay? I had to do the whole shebang, wash it, you know, condition it, put the curls in myself and all that. But I do like this unit too. So if you want to get all of my thoughts on it, make sure to check that video out. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. I'm going to wrap this video up. All the information for all of the hair products on this Isha line right here, girl, that I use in this video will be linked in the description box below and I will see you guys next time. Peace.